Light! Without it, we can't see anything! But with too much, ah! Blinded! Oh, just right. For a camera, this is called exposure! This is an overexposed image, and this one is way too underexposed. It's really just how much light the camera is letting in. Too much light let in means the image will look like this. Ugh. Our eyes adjust exposure automatically, but sometimes it takes them a while. When you walk from sunlight into a dark room, your eyes will have to work hard to adjust. Let's see it in action. There, did you see it? There it goes again. My eyes are adjusting aperture, meaning the size of the hole that the light is going through. There are even more things that affect exposure for a camera, including shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. But in addition to all that, the way that your scene is lit outside of the camera can really make or break your shot. It's really all about the way that the light hits you. In standard three-point lighting, you've got a key light, a fill light, and a backlight. Here's what they look like in the camera. Depending on the vibe of the shot, filmmakers may deviate from this setup. But for things like documentaries, reality TV, narratives, etc., this is pretty standard. But speaking of the vibe of the shot, let's talk about color grading. Color grading is basically the practice of altering colors in post-production to communicate the idea that the filmmaker is after. Filmmakers have actually been doing this for decades. Back in the day, they'd use genuine film and process it with systems like this. Things sure have gotten a lot easier. Having a color film originally meant you'd have to hand color every single frame. That was not cost effective or time effective. But the advent of color film means a lot more expression through film. Let me show you a little bit of an example. This shot is from a short film that I actually made. Impressive! I want this scene to look like it's in nighttime, but I just shot it during day, and I'll just use color grading to make it look like nighttime. First, I'll make it just a little bit darker to really bring out the shadows, and then I'll map all of the whites in the image to blue. Funky! And it looks like this. Impressive! It's pretty convincing, right? Obviously, I also did crop in a sky for the background, but that's irrelevant. Anyway, here are some awesome examples of color grading in the real world in some of your favorite movies and shows. Light really does have an impact.